taking NAC. There is some research supporting the benefit, but generally speaking, is not very convincing yet. I'd rate it a 4 out of 10. Using a cold plunge. Uh, there's very limited evidence showing that there's lasting changes, especially from a physiological perspective. Of course, so psychologically, if it wakes you up and feel great, do it. So no score, it's up to you. Science doesn't support it, though using meditation apps. Meditation is a great one because there's so much research coming out recently. Now, should you use mindfulness apps? Go for it. But the point is you don't necessarily need it. I'd give those a 9 or 10. Intermittent fasting for focus. Yes, there are clinical evidence and studies to support the benefits of things like intermittent fasting, but we don't understand is the long-term benefits or consequences. So there still needs to be a lot more research to it. Maybe a 7 out of 10. Supporting glutamate clearance. This is an act area research. Certainly something that we're exploring as well in our first clinical trial is focused upon. Are there ways to temporarily or transitly increase glutamate clearance mechanisms such that you have clear decisions for longer? And it looks like from current clinical work that that's possible. So out of 10, I would give this a 8 or 9 out of 10.